It's Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and did you know that tucked away in the Hudson Valley, there's a Buddhist monastery with a big claim to fame? News 12's Veronica Jean Seltzer takes us there. It's Buddha's birthday. Vesak, one of the biggest Buddhist festivals. Happy Vesak. Happy Vesak. And people from all over the Hudson Valley are coming to Chuan Yang Monastery in Carmel to celebrate. I never even knew that it even existed here. Many don't. Dina Bagetis is visiting from Stamford. It's so serene. It's absolutely beautiful here. Volunteers say that's why a lot of people come. But there are also special days like this, where Buddhists from all different backgrounds and traditions come together to celebrate the founder of Buddhism born about 2,500 years ago in northern India. He taught wisdom, patience, kindness, generosity, and compassion. To thank him and pray to him, people here are chanting, offering gifts, and lighting blessing lamps. How else could their prayers reach so high up? Monastery volunteers say this is the biggest indoor statue of a Buddha in the Western Hemisphere. 34 feet high, not to include the lotus. Thukku Li has been volunteering here for 44 years, since well before the non-denominational Buddhist Association of the United States broke ground on the monastery in 1989. Buddha is so big, right? I ask her, we built building first or build the statue first? <laughs> statue first. The building was built around it. Traditionally, monasteries weren't just a place for religious services, but also they served as secular community centers. Chuan Yang volunteers say they're proud to carry that on, not just on Buddha's birthday, but every day. Veronica Jean Seltzer, News 12.